Just into CNN, there is new evidence that U.S. intelligence was clued in to plans for the Wagner Chiefs' rebellion in Russia over the weekend. CNN's Natasha Bertrand is at the Pentagon with details. Natasha, we both worked on this new reporters, this new reporting, rather. Sources telling us that U.S. intelligence really had quite a clear picture of what Prigozhin was planning. Alex, they apparently had a really detailed look into what Prigozhin's plans actually were, including how and where he was planning to potentially challenge Russia's military leadership. Now, we reported, of course, that there were some elements of this that were very uh, surprising to U.S. officials, including uh, that, of course, there was not as much bloodshed and violence as they anticipated because they didn't face much resistance from uh, Russian troops inside Russia itself. But this intelligence was extremely detailed detailed, and it was very closely held, we're told. It was only shared with a number of uh, very high-level senior U.S. officials, as well as the Gang of Eight uh, members of Congress who are briefed regularly on very sensitive information. And British officials, we are told, were also briefed, but largely U.S. allies were kept in the dark. And that has frustrated some uh, NATO officials that we spoke to who say that they really wish the U.S. had shared this intelligence with them. But at the same time, sources told us that this would have compromised uh, potentially uh, very, very sensitive sources and methods. And so they really wanted to keep it close hold here. And the Ukrainians, uh, we are told, were not told either before all of this played out because of fears that those plans might be intercepted uh, in the conversations between U.S. and Ukrainian officials. So there was a lot of concern about keeping this intelligence very closely held. But then, of course, once this all started to play out on Friday, the U.S. began scrambling to uh, clue their allies in on this intelligence and, importantly, advise them to stay quiet on the matter and not give Vladimir Putin an excuse to say that the U.S. or the West had anything to do with this, Alex. Yeah, very interesting to see how this intelligence was handled in this seminal moment. Natasha Bertrand at the Pentagon, thanks very much. Let's get reaction from former Defense Secretary and former CIA Director Leon Panetta. Director Panetta, thank you so much for joining us. I first want to get your reaction uh, to that new CNN reporting. Are you surprised that this intelligence was held so closely, shared with so few? Do you think Prigozhin's planning should have been shared with more allies? No, I, I'm not surprised at all, uh, because it's obvious that it must have been a very sensitive source that uh, provided this information. Uh, and uh, if it had gotten out uh, in some way, uh, it could have not only jeopardized that source, uh, but it could also have created problems uh, within Ukraine itself uh, and certainly uh, could have created problems uh, with others as well who... Uh, were involved in trying to put that intelligence together. So uh, I'm, I'm not surprised. I think we did the right thing in holding that tight. Uh, I'm sure it was provided to the president uh, and to uh, key officials at the top levels. A and I'm sure they were kind of keeping their eye on whether or not Prigozhin would certainly start this kind of coup. Uh, it shared with some members of Congress and, and the British, uh, we're told. Uh, Director, we also heard for the first time from President Biden uh, after this insurrection. Let's take a listen to a bit of what he had to say. We gave Putin no excuse to blame this on the West or to blame this on NATO. We made clear that we were not involved. We had nothing to do with it. This was part of a struggle within the Russian system. But it's still too early to reach a definitive conclusion about where this is going. The ultimate outcome of all this remains to be seen. So what do you make of the administration's response so far? I think the uh, president uh, is saying exactly the right thing. I think the uh, United States and our allies uh, have to make very clear that they had uh, no involvement whatsoever. And look, I, I think the bottom line here, Alex, is that uh, Putin is the one who's paying a price for something he created. Uh, he's the one who put together the Wagner Group, uh, this group of mercenaries under uh, precaution. Uh, he's deployed them to Asia, to Africa, to Ukraine, where they've committed all kinds of atrocities. Uh, and then when uh, precaution started speaking out uh, and criticizing both Putin uh, as well as uh, the Russian military, uh, Putin took no steps really to discipline uh, precaution. And when they did, when they tried to finally bring Wagner into the Russian army, uh, that's when uh, Prokoshin decided to, uh, to conduct this coup. So 
frankly, the bottom line here is Putin has no one to blame but himself for what uh, occurred in Russia. Do you think that Putin will be able to convince those around him and Russians really all across the country that he still does have a firm grip on power? I think it's going to be very difficult. Uh, clearly, you know, anytime there's chaos and instability, uh, any leader faces problems as a result of that, but particularly an autocrat uh, like Putin, who basic, his basic claim to power is that uh, he controls what's going on in Russia. Uh, and what happened indicates that his control uh, was not there. Uh, and so the, the ultimate question here is going to be whether or not Putin can reassert some kind of control. But the problem is that in the remarks he made today, uh, he's basically made clear that those who conducted an insurrection in Russia are really not going to be brought to justice. Uh, they're going to have a choice as to whether they uh, go home or stay in Belarus or whether they fight with the Russian uh, military. Um, but I don't see Putin really exercising the, the degree of control that he has to exercise if he's ever going to restore his own credibility. Yeah, remarkable leeway that he's giving to these Wagner fighters. Leona Panetta, thanks uh, very much for your expertise.